Hola mi gente maravillosa, what's up guys, it is so good to see you once again. Please be comfortable wherever you are, buckle up because in today's vlog, I will take you too. What's up guys, so today, I'm doing something different. We usually see Florida in different type of transportation. Car, even boat, speed boat, fish boat. But in this case, today, it's gonna be different. We're gonna see Florida in the sky. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Is that the little one? Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be going on today. And then uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna depart, go straight along to the coast, and just follow the intercoastal south. And then we'll work our way to the west to the Everglades, and then we'll just come back in. Nice scenic ride, and enjoy it. Beautiful day for flying today. It's a beautiful day, man. Yep. So once again, what is your name? Ariel. Ariel. Yes. All right, Ariel. I'm Danny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Danny. That is very small. Yeah. So it's actually once you get in, it's it's roomy. It just looks small. Is that okay to bring this? Yep, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I'll walk you through how safety procedures and so forth for the aircraft. Okay. The main thing is safety for these flights. Cool. Uh, we have families we want to go to at the end of the day, so you know safety is key. Everything else we can figure it out from there. Um, I've already checked the aircraft beforehand. Uh huh. We have over two hours of fuel for this flight. The flight's between 35, 40 minutes or so around there. So we have plenty of fuel and the reserve is plenty. Uh, I'm gonna take off the chalks here. Put these right. off to the side. Yeah. So I'll have three flights today. Three flights. So this is my first one of the day. The first one of the day. Yes. And then- The lucky um, one. It's enjoyable. I always love it. Any day flying is a good day. What about what about for your entire life? So I started training. I started flying over two years ago. Okay. And um, from there, I got all my ratings, and I've cool. been instructing for a year and a half now. So it's been fun. Star, all right, let's get everyone's five stars <laughs> all right all right so, so how should i get in so you're gonna come on this side so we can't step on the wings here okay so put easiest way is put your left foot here all right swing cool. it on over cool. and then sit and then seat belt i'll walk you through it i consider it like my son's car seat because okay. it's it's put in a way that you have to work it cool um so everything's good if you want to all right let me try it. this is like a riding a horse yeah, similar. There you go. There you go. It's just the horse is much higher. Okay. Uh, no, you sit on that. Oh, in here? Yeah. Oh, I want to fly it. Yeah, you fly. <laughs> you fly from both. <laughs> so we both have controls for the pedals. I'm going to push these. You pull this, and then if you need them to go back, you push on them, and then you let it go. If you need it to come forward, you just pull on this, and the pedals will come towards you. So right now, it feels to be comfortable. Okay. Do I need to do something with the pedals later, or not? Uh, nah, 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 nah. good. Okay, so let's keep it that way. All right, so let's put on our seat belts. Seat belt. Yep. So I have this one. This is yours. Yes. This is my So you gotta put the shoulder portion on first. Gotcha. So I have this guy. Yep. So now, you put these side by side. You bring this loop in. You insert that through. Like I said, it's like uh, putting a child in a car seat. And then insert the 
safety is just about who is it. Yes. So, <laughs> safety first, as I mentioned. Now, during the flight, if we main thing is safety, like I said. If we see any traffic, that's our main thing. It's making sure we don't hit anyone else right. or anything else. All references are 12 o'clock, 6, 3, and 9. So like a clock right. in that sense. Um, we're going to close the canopy. There you go. Um, there'll be no smoking at any time during the flight. Now, right. I'll be the pilot in command during this flight. Any questions? During the critical phases of flights, mainly takeoffs and landings, all conversations going to be in regards to the flight. That's it. No, that's it. no different types of distractions you want there because that's time gotcha. that a lot of things are happening at once. Props high RPM, brakes, we're going to hold them, throttles idle. All right, now we're just going to look left and right, make sure no one clear prop. All right, master on. We're going to turn off position lights and strobes. Start the engine. And there's no air conditioner here. Nope. <laughs> Once we start moving, it'll help a little. Alright. All right. Okay, these are the five important things I discovered about flying a small aircraft. Number one, an opportunity to disconnect. But the sooner we took off, I just realized that there was the pilot, the plane, and I. 
During the flight, I had all my senses on the directions given by the pilot, paying attention to the control panel, the view, and my camera gear. When I had complete control of the plane, I clearly understood why flying is such a unique experience. Flying this tiny plane is different than boarding a commercial plane. Now, you are all alone up in the air and watching this beautiful view. Definitely, this is a moment when you are completely separated from all things happening on the ground. Number two, flying is just a wonderful and peaceful pastime. Now, for many of us, flying is just a way to move from one direction to another. But once you take control of the tiny aircraft up in the air, I have this wonderful and peaceful, I don't know, this peaceful feeling. My mind was just admiring a beautiful scenario from 1,000 feet up in the air. The ocean, the long beautiful coastline of the city, the Everglades, the roads and houses all watched from the perspective in the cabin. It's just a different experience than flying a commercial plane. Number three pilot motivation. Tommy, there is nothing more rewarding than seeing the passenger a sense of happiness during and after the flight. Dude, that's amazing. Man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it's, it's always a lot of fun. It brings smiles to everyone. You have, you have no idea how satisfied I am. He gave me all the trust and as soon as he started to provide all the instructions, he was super calm and super confident in what he was doing. The anxiety I had before the takeoff just vanished. Number four, the flight can be as exciting as the destination itself. But the following day, while I was preparing my gear, take a deep breath and say, okay, let's get this done and have faith that everything will be okay. Just a little push of trust. After all, in the process of going to the airport, meeting Ariel, the pilot, getting into the tiny plane and from the takeoff to the landing, I felt secure, exciting, and experienced the feeling of satisfaction. Number five, the view is just a killer. Okay, so let me tell you the difference between a small plane and traveling on a commercial flight. So the small aircraft can fly around 1,000 to 5,000 feet above ground level over urban areas. A small aircraft cannot go less than 1,000 feet as a minimum requirement by the law. If you want to really enjoy the view of the coastline in Florida and the city, then 1,000 to 1,500 feet is what pilots will suggest. Now, this is the disclaimer. I am not a professional aviator at all. Comment in the description below if you know more. On the commercial flights, you will see a little bit of the coastline during the takeoff or the landing. The rest will be just clouds. So when I was flying this plane, it sounds so cool. When I was flying the plane, when I was taking control of the plane myself, me flying that little tiny plane above 1,000 feet, This large blue horizon seen from the frontal plate window and the long Florida coastline is speechless. The view was a killer. Here, that took me like an hour to figure it out how to put it on. Actually, I never figured it out. Ah, uh, you did? The pilot helped me. Yo. Guys, this is amazing. Great experience. First time doing this. Thanks to the pilot, Ariel. Yeah, first time it can be a little bit intimidating. So definitely this is something I'm gonna do it once again. The planes is only for two people, but you have more people, right? There's better, a larger planes that you can get. So bring anybody, uh, I don't know, your cousin, your friends, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever, whoever wants, the, your dog. I don't know, dogs right now, <laughs> it's not gonna work out. But yeah, 25 minutes flight, right? Yes. Good enough, you just saw Florida, a little bit of Palm Beach, Boynton, bucket list, scratch, done. All right guys, this has been an amazing experience. I tried to do my best to show you my experience as a first timer, co-pilot. These planes are diamond aircraft. This is what the agency says and it's actually posted in the website, check it out. So pretty much diamond means like the safest aircraft to fly. And for the outside it looks pretty new. All the equipment seems to be very cool. And by the way, there's a checklist. Um, let me see if I can grab the checklist. So, so here there's a checklist that they follow, the pilot follow. 
and they just go through the whole checklist and make sure that every, every control um, or instrument showing in the panel works properly before taking off. This is the Lantana Airport here in West Palm Beach. It's a very small airport for this small aircraft. There's no control tower. This is another aircraft right here. This is a little larger. The biggest, the prices of this for 45 minutes trip, it will change. So you always need to check in the website just to make sure you're gonna pay the right thing and if you are comfortable to pay for it. But for 45 minutes, I pay around $90. The pilot's gonna guide you through it and it's gonna teach you uh, a little bit how to take control of the plane, which is, for me, is the best experience so far. I am not promoting anybody. I just gonna guide you through my own experience because this is what this blog is. This is one of those days that you can go to the beach but decide to fly. Fly, like a little bird. Free bird, fly. This agency, Amro Aviation, also offers flight school. You get certification. And I was talking to the manager from the office and he was offering me for to get a class, a certification. I think it takes a couple months to have a license. The prices is, goes around $9,000 to $40,000 just for the class and get the certification. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. I see you soon in the next vlog. Ciao.